Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 892. And if you want to download this workbook, 890 to 895, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to add numbers between two dates with multiple criteria from multiple workbooks. Now we're going to use indirect and sum ifs. Both functions will not calculate unless all the workbooks are open. Let's see how to do this. All of our workbooks are open. Here's our summarization workbook. We have uh, data 1, data 2, and those are our tables. And we need to do this. If I can get back to that workbook right there. We have 1, 2, 3 criteria. So when we go 1, 2, 3, we have to look at a date column, a product column with the, all, all three criteria, and then add. Let's go look at this. Here's the date. But this other workbook also has a date column. So we need to somehow mash those together vertically. So we're going to use the indirect function. Now, it does require that we have the file path name. And I have these ranges here just to help me fill out the formula to remind myself. They all have the, uh, the same size over on those other workbooks. Now, how did I get these file names? I didn't type that out. I said equals. I clicked on the other workbook. I clicked on a cell and then enter. And then I closed the other workbook, and then it will give you the whole file path, and then I copied it. All right. The indirect function, if we have either worksheet names or workbook names, we can use the indirect function and highlight this range of file names or sheet names and tell it a specific range. And it will take both of those ranges from both of those workbooks or sheets and put them together into one. So let's see. This will be kind of like the inside most part of the formula. We're going to have to do it three, t at least, yeah, three, one, two, three, four times. We're going to have to repeat this indirect. Now, indirect takes text that represents a reference and converts it back to a reference. So we're going to need a single apostrophe before, a single apostrophe ap ap afterwards, and an explanation point. So in as I construct this file path name, I'm going to double quote, single quote, double quote, and then use the join symbol ampersand and highlight both of these. Now, you could have you know, a bunch of workbooks that you need to add up, right? And so you just highlight the whole range. Now, I'm going to ampersand, double quote, and then single apostrophe, explanation point. If I highlight this right here and hit the F9 key, I don't think it'll let me do that. Oh, I forgot the double quote on the end. F9, it shows me both of those as um, in a race syntax, both of the f uh, file path names. And you can see it's got the explanation point, single apostrophe, and single apostrophe. That's the syntax required for these workbook references, Control Z. Now, I need to put the cell reference. I'm actually going to put a space at the beginning to suspend that formula. The sum range, if I go over here, it's going to be the C column. So I'm going to copy this, come back here, backspace, get rid of that double quote and control V. All right, and so now if I look at this, this will give me two ranges from two different workbooks, F9. Control Z, the indirect, I don't know if we can, if I hit the F9 key, it just shows me, it doesn't show me all of them. But it will, both of those total column ranges will be inside of our sum ifs function, control Z. Now I'm going to copy this. Because now we're going to have to use that, I think, four different times. We're going to do sum ifs. Sum ifs will sum with multiple criteria. The sum range, that's it. Comma, I'm going to come to the end. Criteria range. I'm going to control V. Now, the first criteria range is going to be date. And that's in the A column. So I'm going to change this. So there's our two columns from two different workbooks for dates, comma. The first criteria is going to be in double quotes, greater than or equal to in double quotes. 
begin, has to be greater than or equal to the begin, and I'm going to have to hit the F4 key and lock the column reference, but not the row, comma, control V, same exact date column, but now we have to give it the upper. That's the criteria range 2. Plus center equal to ampersand. This one right here, and this is F4, lock the column, but not the row. One more criteria range. Control V. That's going to be the B column over there. Criteria range 3, comma, and then the row header. And I'm going to lock F4 for the row, but not the column. Now, some ifs will deliver uh, F9 uh, two summations, uh, one from each workbook, right? Control Z. And that's an array. And I'm going to put it inside the sum product. That way, it will add those two. And then enter. Copy it down. OK, so I forgot. Oh, I forgot to lock a bunch. That's too bad. So I have to highlight F4. Control Enter. Turn it down and over. All right, that's pretty wild. Um, it will give you a reference area if you close all those workbooks. But when you can have your workbooks open and you have you know, a bunch of workbooks with the same range, that will do it. All right, we'll see you next trick.